solving equations involving natural log. So reminder, uh, if I have say e to the a equals b, I could rewrite e to the a equals b as natural log base e uh, b equals a. So two ways of expressing the same thing. Um, shorthand for natural log is just ln. So they're identical, it's just ln is a faster way rate, log base e. We use it so often that we need a, a shortcut. Alright, so let's look at some equations involving natural log. First one, log base e to the x equals 4. I could have written it as ln x equals 4. Uh, probably the best way to solve this, or the, maybe the only way to solve this, is to write it in this form. So we can write it as e to the 4 equals x. And then we can just type that into our calculator because e is a number. So that's like 2.7 something to the power of 4. Calculator, x equals uh, 54.598. If you don't know where the E button is on your calculator, make sure you come and ask me. So this question is going to be really short and sweet. Log base E to the 3 equals log base E to the X. As long as you can get a question to this form, well, if log base E to the 3 equals log base E to the X, then 3 must be equal to X. It's, that's, that's the game. So, of course, questions could be uh, more complicated than that, and your goal is to get them in, into that shape. For example, something like this. Uh, now, we want to get it into that shape, but we have three logs, not two logs. Luckily, you know your log laws, or you remember your log laws. So, if there are two logs with the same base added together, I can smoosh them together by multiplying our exponents. So... Here, it's going to be log base e um, x times 3, or 3 times x, which is just 3x. Now, I don't really need those brackets there, so I'll just write it. And while I'm at it, I'm going to stop writing log base e. I'm just going to write ln 3x equals um, ln 6. So, if ln 3x equals ln 6, therefore, 3x equals 6. And x equals 6 over 3, x equals 2. So again, the goal, if you see a bunch of logs, is to get it into a shape that looks something like that. And then, therefore, it, and we're done. So, one more step. ln x plus ln 5 minus ln 10 equals ln 3. I could have written log base e x plus log base e 5, but I couldn't be bothered. Um... Now, we just need to get this with four logs into that shape. So, uh, ln x plus ln 5, we can do something similar to that. So we can say, oh, why am I doing that? Oh, well, uh, L, log base e, uh, x times 5 is 5x, minus log base e, 10, equals log base e, 3. All right. Uh, now that I've got that, I don't really need those brackets there, so I'll just call it log base e 5x. Um, I can use one of my other index laws, which says if I have two logs with the same base subtracted from each other, I, um, I can divide them. I can divide those exponents. So just to really spice things up, I'll switch back to the ln form. So I'll say ln equals, um, or sorry, ln 5x over 10. So I'm taking that and I'm dividing it by that all in a single log, ln3. If you're watching with the sound off, this is going to be really confusing because I keep swapping from ln to log base e, but they're the same thing. Um, okay, that's good because now we're in that, in the shape, in this shape where we've got a log and another log. So now I can just say, therefore, 5x over 10 equals 3. 5x equals 30, 10 times 3, x equals 30 divided by 5, x equals 6. Um, okay, so that's sort of sort of tough, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, sometimes, if you have an unknown here, you'll want to write it into exponential form. In other cases, you'll want to get it into this shape if there's a bunch of logs there.